from Zaven, and I'm from Fort Recovery High School, and I'm here with Angela at the Civil War reenactment. Where are you from, Angela? I, my husband and I are from St. Mary's. How long have you been doing Civil War reenactments? Uh, my husband has been Civil War reenacting since he was in high school. I've only been doing it for the last four years. Nice. What's your favorite part about it? Uh, I'd have to say my favorite part about reenacting is probably just getting to dress up and be someone else for a weekend, leave all my troubles behind. That would be fun. <laughs> and what is your least favorite part? My least favorite part is keeping the fire going. <laughs> what exactly is your role in the reenactment? Um, I portray a civilian, so basically this is my house. Um, what you see is not really a tent, it's my house. Um, I, I didn't really, you know, follow my husband into battle. Um, so what I'm doing is portraying what life would have been like still at home, uh, waiting for the soldiers to come back. So is your husband like in war in the reenactment or does he stay yes, home too? Yes, he is. Uh, my husband's in the infantry and if you can see here, I've got a letter that he wrote me this morning. Um, well, I received it this morning. Um, and he doesn't think the war is going to be over very soon, but I can still hope. And there you have it. That's all. Hi, I'm Zavin from Fort Recovery High School, and I'm here with General Georgie e. Pickett. What exactly is your role in the Civil War reenactment? I uh, portray General Major General Georgie e. Pickett. Uh, I teach history of his uh, life and that through the Civil War. How long have you been doing this? I started uh, reenacting back in the 70s and then got back into it again in about 2000. So, a long time? Yes, a <laughs> long time. So he knows what he's doing. What is your favorite part about this? Teaching the young kids the history because in schools they kind of skip, skip it. right through yeah. it. Yeah, so this gives them an opportunity yeah. to learn how our our government and that is formed now. And what is your least favorite part, you'd say? Uh, packing and unpacking. <laughs> <laughs> that's what a lot of people have been saying. Well, that's all I have for today. Hi, I'm Zavin, and I'm here with Alan Farley from the Civil War reenactment. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is my 31st year uh, in Civil War reenacting. It is my 26th year portraying a chaplain and teaching people about the work of the chaplains and the United States Christian Commission uh, during the, the Civil War. Okay. And what is your favorite part about it? Well, my favorite part is holding the church service on Sunday morning, believe it or not. Uh, that is what the Lord called me to back in uh, 1984 is to start portraying a chaplain. I was a, started out as a private soldier, worked my way up to sergeant when uh, the Lord laid upon my heart to start doing the work of a chaplain. So my battle actually comes Sunday morning when we are uh, holding the church services for the reenactors and for the uh, spectators. I also enjoy the rest of the weekend as I'm able to talk to the people that come by, the spectators, and uh, tell them about the work of the chaplains. Uh, uh, it is such a, a, a little known aspect of the war that we've actually started a museum uh, in Lynchburg, Virginia. We opened the doors uh, in January of this year, and it's the only uh, museum of its kind in existence in the nation. We tell the whole story about the uh, Union chaplains, the Protestant, the Baptist, the Catholic, the Jewish chaplains. We talk about the Confederate chaplains. We talk about the great revival in the Southern Army when over 150,000 Confederate soldiers and sailors uh, were won to Christ and became Christians. Uh, we talk about the work of the Christian Commission, how they uh, came up with the very first, what they called an identifier, which ended up being the forerunner of the modern day military dog tag. Uh, gave out gospel tracts to the soldiers, the most read material by soldiers, uh, Bibles, they gave fresh fruit. Uh, they worried uh, about not only the spiritual needs of the soldiers, where they would spend eternity, uh, one of two places, heaven or hell, 
and they wanted to make sure that when, if a soldier died on the battlefield or in camp that uh, he would spend eternity in heaven. Uh, they also worried about the body and made sure that the soldiers had fresh fruit, uh, vegetables, things that would be nutritious for a body instead of what the government gave them of hardtack and salt pork. So these are the kind of things that we do during a weekend and have been doing for 36 years now. So your role in the Civil War reenactment is to be a chaplain and teach people about that is exactly correct. I portray either a Confederate chaplain or a United States Christian Commission delegate, and I uh, teach on what God did during the Civil War. Hmm. And you said that there was a museum opened in Virginia. Is that where you're from? That is, yes. We, uh, we drove 12 hours to get here to participate in this event. My family and I, this is what we do all during the year. We travel about 35,000 miles a year uh, teaching people about the work of the chaplains and the Christian Commission and uh, holding the church service. And I think I said erroneously 36 years. We've been, we've been doing the work of a chaplain for 26 years, and I've been reenacting for 31 years. Wow. So you are very committed to this? You like this a lot. Don't you, you might say that, yes. My my children have actually grown up in the tent that is uh, a, a little bit larger tent uh, than what we have behind us. But uh, uh, we have been out on the road. We're out about uh, 40 weeks out of the year. Wow. Well, thank you very much for that. That's all I have. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Enjoy your day. You too.